Hey, so today I wanted to share with you guys a few ways that you can see the good on social media. I know that social media, it seems like it's just bombarded with negativity, um, whether it's political, um, just anything. There's just so much going on in the news. There's so much around us that can just be negative. It can be daunting. Um, a lot of times we want to just totally hide from social media, and I get it. Um, my businesses are actually based solely on social media, so I have to be on social media every single day. So this has really caused me over the last few years to take a look on how I'm managing my time on social media and how I'm managing what I'm seeing on social media. So hopefully what I share with you in this video is going to make a difference and can help you kind of um, see the good that really is on social media. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a screen share here with you if I can find all the right buttons. And what I'm going to do is um, I am going to make it so you can see a couple different ways that I have um, changed it. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right button so that, that I can see the good on social media. So here you go. Here's my Facebook. I'm on my Facebook. And, you know, you're scrolling your newsfeed, you're scrolling your newsfeed. You know, let's say that something negative pops up on my newsfeed. Now, maybe this person is a friend of mine, maybe an acquaintance, but what they've been posting lately is really negative, and it's not something that I want to fill my newsfeed with. You can simply, let me scroll down and see if I can find a person. I actually love this person that I follow, so I'm not going to do what I would really do. So pretend this is a negative post, and um, I, would, I can um, hide the post, which what Facebook will do is it'll kind of analyze what post it is, say, pretend it's a video, um, and if you say hide this post, Facebook's going to say, okay, they want to see less of this type of thing. So they'll remember that, and they'll show you less of that. Or what I do is I actually, I do this a lot, I unfollow people. Now, people don't know that you've unfollowed them, um, which is a great thing. I don't like to unfriend people unless it's, you know, maybe it's someone I don't know that accidentally got added, which happens with me because I have um, assistants that help me do different things. And so maybe they got added on accident and I will unfriend them. Um, but I, I like to keep relationships open with people. I'm a friends. I'm friends with a lot of people that don't have the same beliefs as me. I'm friends with a lot of people who are in really hard negative spots in their lives. I have siblings that just they post trash and I don't want to see it. I love them dearly, but I don't want to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfollow this person. You can simply click unfollow. Then you don't see their stuff in your newsfeed. If you want to check up on that person, you can go see how they're doing. But because you just unfollowed them, you didn't unfriend them, they can still see your stuff. So hopefully, and this is my hope with, you know, people that I have unfollowed that I still, you know, I'm friends with or I still love them, of course. Um, I'm hoping that what I put out there, they will see and it'll bring some light into their lives. So that is the first thing that I do. So if you're scrolling your newsfeed, you see something you don't want to see, take care of it. Um, fill your newsfeed with good stuff. Um, the other thing is what you can do is the more things that you look at and you like and engage in. So say this post right here. Um, my friend Nina, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like it. So what Facebook's gonna do is they're gonna say, Breezy likes to see things from Nina. And so Nina's things will start coming up in my newsfeed more, that's called engaging. So instead of just mindlessly scrolling your newsfeed, engage with the people that you're following. So if there's something you like to see, if someone shares a, a positive video, if they share something cute of their kids, if they share a positive quote, if they're asking for advice, comment, engage. Um, and what Facebook does is it registers and it says that you want to see more of that from that person. So if it's negative, unfollow. If it's um, something that you're enjoying seeing on your newsfeed, then engage with that and so that Facebook shows you that. Okay, the third thing I'm going to tell you to do is follow people and accounts that are positive. So my, my news feed is filled with pretty positive people just because of my line of work um, in, in, in my job, what I do, and I just, I associate with so many positive people because that's just the kind of lifestyle they've chosen. And so I have a lot of friends that are very positive people but I still have a lot of the negative. Um, so I have to manage that like I talked about. But the other thing I like to do is I like to follow certain like pages or certain people who um, are maybe like doing something for a cause. I'm gonna go to a person right now, hopefully she doesn't mind if, that I use her account, I'm sure she won't. Um, 
So this girl right here, I met through social media and her and her family, her and her husband, they founded what's called Nurturing Marriage. They're an LDS couple and they have an Instagram account that I would highly recommend following. It's called Nurturing Marriage. They have a Facebook page and then I'm also friends with her um, because they did do an interview on my husband and I for their blog. So um, I, follow, I follow this because she... Oh, this is great. This is another amazing couple to follow, Ashlyn and Colby Mitchell. Um, he struggled with pornography and um, just a bunch of different things that they've gone through in their in their marriage and with their kids. Amazing. I'm going to cry just thinking about it. Um, I actually had the privilege of meeting them and sitting next to them on a plane and getting to know them. We were stranded overnight in an international airport together. That was lots of fun. But um, anyway, so another amazing couple right there um, to follow. So these people are... Um, awesome. So I'm actually going to click on this Ashlyn Colby. So they have a like page. Looks like I don't like it, but I'm going to like it because I really enjoy what they are trying to do. Um, they're raising awareness about pornography um, and different things like that and overcoming. And so this is something I could fill my newsfeed with this positivity. And on like pages, if what, what you can actually do is you can receive notifications when um, the page posts. And I actually can't see that right now. But if you come on this page and you like and engage on this, it's going to show you more. So follow positive people. There is also, um, let's go to Elder Uchtdorf. So I like Elder Uchtdorf. So if Elder Uchtdorf posts, it's hopefully going to pop up in my newsfeed. So um, this is another awesome way that you can follow positive things on social media is our apostles. And Prophet even has a... Um, a Facebook account and then we can fill our news feed with positive things and the same thing goes for Instagram in this post I'm gonna share a few different accounts that I follow on Instagram um, also Facebook pages I'll link you to and things that you can follow yes where's your phone um, I think it's over on my bed you can have it so anyway that's the beauty of working from home is I get to get little cute interruptions like this. So anyway, I hope these tips are helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. These are just a few things I do to fill my newsfeed with goodness. I do the same thing on Instagram. Instagram's a little different. I do unfollow a lot of people, um, but I also choose to follow, you know, a lot of the positive accounts that I do see out there, church accounts, people that are doing great things. Um, and so that's what I choose to fill my newsfeed with. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Hopefully this was helpful. And like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Thanks guys.